everyone welcome back to my channel so guys uh, we were doing female reproductive system and we had covered the basic internal structure aaj hum padhenge uska external genitalia that means the way it is visible outside okay how uh, is it uh, how are its parts you know attached to each other right so uh, if we uh, go on the revision part jo humne kal kara tha theek hai usme humne ye padha tha ki uh, there is a uh, like this fimbri part and we have an infundibulum we have a wider oh, ampulla and then we have a narrow lumen which merges mm -hmm. into the uterus Sim similarly this figure is on this side also and here we have the location of an ovary like this which is attached to here by the ligaments correct and this yes. uterus folds, folds up into up. cervix that further opens up into vagina okay so these were the basic female reproductive parts that we studied yesterday to label them we have this called as ovary we have this as fimbri we have this, this as infundibulum the first part this is ampulla and this is isthmus inside we have uterus attached as, as cervix as cervix, cervix opens in, up into vagina okay so these so are these the are basic parts awesome. which we had covered uh, now today okay. we will study the external genitalia as written over here the female external genitalia what does it includes it includes basic Maybe. structures like mons pubis first labia, labia majora, majora second labia, labia minora, minora third the fourth part the is the hymen and the fifth the part is the clitoris okay so you need to first learn the basic parts which are comprised in the female external genitalia okay female external genitalia includes what first mons pubis now what is this mons pubis this mons pubis is basically a cushiony structure on which you see the hair growth occurring okay so mons pubis is a cushion of fatty tissue which is covered on the top by skin and we have pubic hair so that region of external genitalia which basically comprises of the maximum of pubic hair is the mons pubis and it is outlined on the cover by skin then the second structure is the labia majora ab mons pubis ki hai extension hoti hai labia majora theek hai labia majora agar aap dekhoge these are fleshy folds of tissue to wo kuch is tarike se folds hote hain like this they are the fleshy folds of the tissue tissue ke hi kuch folds hai right uske upar skin nahi hai tissue ke folds hai theek hai <coughs> which extends down from mons pubis and surround the vaginal opening so ye basically upar se mons pubis se aa raha hai maybe this might be the skinny structure of mons pubis and here we have the vaginal opening jisko ye encover kar raha hai theek hai ji now the labia minora are paired folds of tissue under the labia majora अब लेबिया में जोरा के जस्ट नीचे यहाँ पे भी एक टिश्यू के फोल्ड्स प्रेजेंट है जिन्हें हम क्या कहते हैं लेबिया माइनोरा एंड दीज आर लेबिया मेजोरा दिस इज मॉन्स प्यूबिस दिस इज विजाइनल ओपनिंग क्लियर सो दिस इज लेबिया माइनोरा नाउ लेबिया माइनोरा आर पेयर फोल्ड्स ऑफ टिश्यू ठीक है दीज आर पेयर फोल्ड ऑफ टिश्यू ठीक है जिनको हम कैसे देखते हैं सो ली दीज आर प्रेजेंट अंडर देम ओके opening of vagina is often covered partially by a membrane called as hymen matlab is vaginal opening ke upar ek cover jaisa kuch hota hai is cover ko hum kya bolte hain this covering is actually known as hymen theek hai jisko kabhi kabhi log virginity ka indicator bhi mante hain theek hai but actually there is nothing such thing theek hai ye hymen basically is vaginal opening ki covering hai kabhi kabhi ye itni thin hoti hai ki slight stretching se bhi tear ho jati hai ya kabhi kabhi it is so strong that even after the intercourse or even after you know various sports activity bhi ye tear up nahi hota theek hai so it depends individual to individual then we have the next part that is the clitoris clitoris is the tiny finger like structure which lies at the upper junction of the two labia minora above the urethral opening so actually we have the urethral urethral opening also here only 
okay so just little above we have an erectile structure like this we have an erectile structure jise hum clitoris kehte hain theek hai ji it is located just above the urethral opening at the upper junction of labia minora ye labia minora ka upper junction hi hai theek hai ji the hymen is often torn during the first inter first coitus or the intercourse as i told you that uh, mostly that time only uh, there is a penetration in the vagina due to which this hymen often gets break off ठीक है हाउ एवर इट कैन ऑल्सो बी ब्रोकन बाय अ सडन फॉल लेकिन कभी कभी ड्यू टू सडन फॉल सडन जर्क ऑल्सो इट गेट्स ब्रोकन सो इट्स लाइक बाई इंसर्शन ऑफ एनी वेजाइनल टेम्पॉन लाइक दैट इज यूज इन केस ऑफ मेन्स्ट्रेशन ओके एक्टिव पार्टिसिपेशन इन सम स्पोर्ट्स लाइक हॉर्स बैक राइडिंग साइकिल वेर यू नो यू हैव स्ट्रेचिंग ऑफ योर लेग्स ओके इन सम जमीन द हाईम एन पर्सन इवन आफ्टर द क्वाइटस आई टोल्ड यू दैट इट इज नॉट अ रिलायबल इंडिकेटर समटाइम्स इवन आफ्टर द क्वाइटस दिस हाईम एन इज प्रेजेंट ओके इन फैक्ट द प्रेजेंट or absence of hymen is not a reliable uh, indicator of virginity or the sexual appearance not at all okay so you can see over here uh, i'll see if we have the structure yes this is the structure if you see carefully this is the this urethral is opening okay and uh, this is the vaginal opening so big, big folds, folds that is labia majora this is the big fold okay this is taken a transaction with a sectional view that is why you cannot see it but uh, when you uh, you know visualize it from the outside mostly it is seen as a structure like this okay it is seen as like this so this is the major uh, thing here that's all i wanted to uh, teach you about the external genitalia i hope it is clear to you all in the next video we will be studying about the memory gland and its different parts thank you so much for watching my lecture stay updated